Okay, now I'm gonna go over the eye. First, I wanna give you a three-dimensional look at it. Okay, so there are three layers to the eye and you can see the eye cut open on this side and then on this side it is not cut open. So clearly the outermost layer of the eye is this white layer that surrounds almost the entire eye. So all of this is called the sclera. See? And then when you move anteriorly, the sclera becomes clear. That's still the outermost layer of the eye. And the, um, we don't call it a sclera anymore though because it's clear, see how you could see through it? Then we call it the cornea. So the cornea and the sclera are the outer layer of the eye. The middle layer of the eye is shown here in this dark purple color. That is called the choroid. And then if you follow the choroid anteriorly, the choroid becomes pink and it thickens a little bit. So you see that here and you see it here. Now remember, three-dimensionally, <clears throat> the choroid and all the layers come up around the eye and make a sphere. So the choroid is just cut open so you could see the inside of the eye, but in real life, I mean, this is kind of common sense, but in real life, it goes all the way around. So you can see this thickened area here and here, there's a number 17 right there, is called the ciliary body. It's colored red because it, it's a muscle and they always color muscles red. And again, the choroid is purplish and then it's, it's really dark in color and then you move anteriorly and it turns red, and then you keep moving and it's also red in a cross section there when you cut it open, but uh, that, and that's also a muscle. So they, they use the color red for muscle. Up here, these muscles are um, muscles that move the eye. They're on the outside of the eye, but these muscles are inside the eye and they're smooth muscle. These are skeletal. You can move your eyes on purpose, but these are smooth muscles. And the first one, the thick part here, is the ciliary body. And you see these white strings. If you turn the eye this way, you could see the white strings. There's a number 18 on them. Um, those are called the suspensory ligament. They're connected to the ciliary body. Um, and I just noticed suspensory ligament is not on your list. So pretend I didn't say that. And, um, but they attach the ciliary body to the lens. So this right here, this bump here, is the lens. <clears throat> and the lens is used to focus, to see things clearly. So that's the job of the ciliary body, to change the shape of the lens for focusing. Um, and then remember, we're still in the middle layer of the eye. When you move anteriorly, um, this muscle here, when you turn the eye, you can see that from the outside of the eye, this muscle is colored. That's called the iris. It's the colored part of your eye. And the iris is smooth muscle that can change the size of the pupil. The pupil is the hole in the iris. So the iris can contract and make the pupil small or relax and make the pupil larger. And that's to regulate the amount of light coming in the eye. So that's it for the middle layer of the eye. The innermost layer of the eye is this white layer right here. It's very thin and it is called the retina. The retina has lots of blood vessels in it, so does the choroid. So you see those um, here. And if you move to the rear of the retina, I don't know if you can see this, there's a yellow spot there with a number 21 on it. That yellow spot is a part of the retina and we're calling it the fovea centralis. Um, it is a part of the retina that has a whole bunch of photoreceptors in it. In the back of the eye here um, is the optic nerve. Now remember, you learned that the optic disc, the um, blind spot, is under the optic nerve. It's in there. We can't see it on this model, so it's not on your list in lab. I'm just looking over the list to make sure I covered everything. Oh, no, I didn't. So one more thing. This right here, number 12, 
This is a uh, spherical structure, right, that maintains the shape of the eye. This is the vitreous humor. The vitreous humor is like a thicker um, gelatin consistency, and people who have cut their eye and lost their vitreous humor, the eyeball collapses. So its main function is to just hold the eyeball open in the shape that you're familiar with. Okay.